So guys and girls, we are going to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to sh track the progress of the Fountain Blue the last few years with you and show you how far it has come along. Now construction began in 2007. I know that plans were unveiled for the hotel. I believe it was 2005 and there was even buzz a few years before that about this property. Now, of course, the property went into bankruptcy in 2009. Construction was halted, and it was halted all across the Strip. The only property that I believe opened up was the city center, city center complex. Now, something that should be pretty interesting about this property is about a thousand of the more than 3,000 rooms here were intended to be condos, and so, they have full kitchens in them and a lot of the amenities that a regular room would not have. And so I think this is probably going to be one of the premier places for luxury uh, to stay in Las Vegas. Darn it, the marquee is still not lit up and that is this stain right here. I was gonna show you guys and girls, but uh, we'll have to check it out next time. Ah, ye old construction wall from 2007. And as tradition has always dictated, I must chip a piece of paint off. And of course, this wonderful property was designed and constructed to be a uh, sister property to the Fountain Blue in Miami Beach. So that is pretty cool. We have our own Fountain Blue here in Las Vegas. And here is a nice shot of the valet, the front entrance right here. Still a little bit of construction to go, but they're coming along nicely. Now, of course, this property was known for several years as the Drew, and that came about because Fountain Blue sold it during bankruptcy in 2009, and it had a few owners. I know uh, businessman Carl Icahn owned it for a while, and then uh, the Whitcoff Group out of Manhattan, and that was run or is still run by a man named Steve Whitcoff, and uh, he. He changed the name from Fountain Blue to the Drew to honor his son Drew and I always thought that was really cool and I know Fountain Blue bought it back and so they renamed it the Fountain Blue but I don't know I always like the name Drew. Now if there is anybody that is working construction on this wonderful property I have a favor to ask of you. Could you please let me know where the uh, the Performing Arts Center is going to be located? I thought it was this, and that is the parking garage I came to find out. Now there's a hole being dug over here, and I know it's kind of hard to see beyond this fence, but is, is that where the uh, Performing Arts Center is going to be? Like I said, anybody uh, that's working construction or is in the know, let me know in the comment section. Well guys and girls, the sun is starting to go down and you can see the moon. Very beautiful twilight out here tonight. I want to take this moment to thank you for joining me on today's quick walk around this absolutely amazing property. It's going to be opening up hopefully in 2023 and uh, I'm going to keep coming back out here and uh, I will talk to all of you on my next location. Bye bye.